pharmacy students at Keele University are dealing with a new breed of patient thanks to computer technology. Dr Luke Bracegirdle, IT Development Director, has developed virtual patients for students to gain experience in meeting a patient's needs. The student types in a question to ask about their medication, to which the virtual character replies. Oh, I take some calcium carbonate tablets every day. Dr. Bracegirdle believes Kiel are possibly the first to use such technology as students adapt their learning styles. We're going through a patent application for the virtual patient and obviously the results of that will prove whether we are the first or not. Um, but uh, certainly within the schools of pharmacy and as far as we're aware across, across the country, uh, this is quite a, a new initiative. The virtual patient is seen as a useful alternative to using real people to test learning objectives. Professor Stephen Chapman um, had the idea that um, it would be good for our students to have uh, a patient on demand effectively so that they could, um, our students could come in and uh, ask uh, the patient a question and to do so uh, on, on, a, on a frequent basis which is an issue, I mean you know, the availability of patients and patients being willing to be experimented on isn't, isn't high as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, but Professor Chapman um, came, with, came with the idea and said could we create uh, virtual characters which uh, our students could uh, question. So that was where my involvement started with this. And Dr Bracegirdle's talents have not gone unnoticed as a university in Australia has asked him to develop their own set of unique patients. It's Monash University, uh, we're based in Melbourne, Australia, and they um, contacted us to develop these four characters. And that's um, an interesting project. They've created um, sort of like a neighbour's uh, type of environment for their students. So they have real life actors who come in and act out various parts of patients. But to correspond with that, we've been asked to develop these virtual characters, which will look exactly the same as the real life actors. So they have this um, community which, uh, their patient, which, their, which their students are required to treat over the course of their studies. And uh, Shirley Park is the first, uh, is the first character. Uh, Steve Park, Andrew Park and Emma Park, they're, they're all soon to come. And uh, they'll all make part of this family which uh, their students will be exposed to this year. So aside from completing projects in their labs, students can get a feel for interacting with patients of a different kind. And ones who give feedback to boot. And then finally, if we just do um, anything else again. Uh, no, uh... No, that's everything, I'm sure. Do you give me some feedback, please? Hi. I'd like to give you some feedback on this patient consultation. It was good you asked me about how long I've had the pain. Although not as important, it was good you asked me about how much alcohol I drink. Melissa Jones, Keele University, for Staffs News.